You have a WAN connection you use at home that you really wish you could use while traveling, then Speed Fusion Relay is the solution for you. As long as your hardware is running firmware 8.2 or higher and have an active Speed Fusion Connect plan, this allows you to connect your mobile Peplink router to your home Peplink router and use its internet connection to connect to the internet. This might allow you to connect to things like streaming services more easily. Start by connecting to and logging into your home router. This will act as the relay server in the connection. We'll be using a Peplink Max BR1 Mini in our example. Navigate to the Speed Fusion Connect tab. Click on Setup Relay Mode. A new screen should appear. Click where it says Cloud Location and select the location closest to your home. When done, click on the green check mark to the right. Your Speed Fusion Connect name will appear with a relay sharing code to the right. Copy this and then apply the changes before moving on. Now that we have configured the server connection, we're going to log into the client router. In this case, we will be using a Peplink Balance 20X. Navigate to the Speed Fusion Connect tab. Select Choose Cloud Location and a new screen will appear. Refer to Cloud Location here and click where you see the blank field. A dropdown should appear. Select Home Sharing and then paste in the code you copy from the server router. Click the green check mark to the right, followed by Apply Changes at the top right. Navigate back to the dashboard to check the status of the changes. Once applied, we will see the Speed Fusion connection appear. Wait while it cycles through the connection process. After a moment, it should say established, like we see here. At this time, we need to configure the client router to send all traffic over our newly connected Speed Fusion Relay. Navigate to the Network tab. Although for some Peplink routers, this will be under the Advanced tab. Select Outbound Policy on the left. Click on Add Rule here. Give the custom rule a unique name such as Speed Fusion Relay. Confirm the Enable checkbox is checked. Source and destination should be set to any. Set the algorithm to priority and then drag and drop your Speed Fusion connection into the WAN list. It should be positioned at the top of the list so that all traffic routes over this connection first. If this fails for some reason, it will fail over to the WAN connection or connections you have in place. Leave the remaining settings as is. Click Save, then Apply Changes. We'll then go back to the dashboard page again to confirm changes are applied and our Speed Fusion is still established. We can also check the connection at the server router and then verify our configuration is working. Once logged back into the server router, first verify the Speed Fusion connection shows is established here with one out of one relay clients. Note that additional client connections can be purchased if needed. At the client router's web admin page, navigate to the status tab and click on client list. This is where we can confirm the IP address our computer is receiving from the router's private network. Now that we've noted this, we'll go to active sessions on the left. Click on the search tab at the top of this page and then scroll through the outbound sessions list. This is where it tells us which internet or WAN service our computer is connecting to the internet over. As we can see here, it shows our Speed Fusion Relay connection, which confirms our configuration is working correctly. We hope you found this video helpful and welcome you to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.